Hey guys, Artosis here, bringing you some more R-I-S-S. -S. This is going to be a best of seven between two of the very strongest non-Korean players. We have DeWalt going up against Mihu. It should be fantastic. It should be a close match. Uh, and up here in the top right, we have DeWalt, our Russian player. And in the top left, Mihu, our Chinese player. Uh, and the first map is a very strange one, as RISS has been doing. It's called Snowflower. Uh, it's meant to be like Circuit Breakers. So if you recall, Circuit Breakers, the really big four-player map, where you got like three bases that are kind of in a triangle, and then you have 12, 6, 3, and 9 as additional bases. That's, that's the overall, like idea from it but it's actually got more interesting terrain honestly at this point circuit breakers is not really played anymore uh it was considered like the best map maybe five years ago uh but yeah certainly not at this point um anyways <laughs> let's just see how these guys end up opening i'm i'm excited about this uh you know it, it's this is such a cool series the riss so uh yeah very much appreciated that i get to cast these uh, you can find out some more about uh, the match and how it was made down below uh, in the description. So, uh, the best of seven, like, I mean, I would, I generally favor DeWalt against just about everyone. I think he's probably the strongest uh, player outside of uh, China and Korea, right? Like, because China is, I, I think, like, mm, it's a little bit stronger than the the uh rest of uh, what we call the foreign scene or the non-korean scene but the scene is pretty much separate there's not a lot of overlap there's no, like uh you know it, we see some of these matches and obviously bsl has recently invited the chinese players and all that so there is a little bit more overlap nowadays but it definitely uh as someone who plays within these scenes it does feel as if it is a slightly different scene than the foreign scene, right? Which is what it's been called for a long time, right? So it's it's like there's three different actual groups of StarCraft player. The Korean players, the Chinese players, and then the ones that are neither of those. <laughs> so anyways, I think DeWalt amongst the ones that are neither of those is the strongest. And Mihu, I, I think, is generally considered stronger. Uh, he's just... And Mihu is like the best player that's not Korean. Uh, like every single person agrees on that, I think. And he's certainly shown it. He's had great victories in BSL. He's had great victories over just about everybody. Uh, super, super strong Terran player. So anyways, this is a gasless expansion that we see from Mihu. Uh, DeWalt's probe is going to come up, see what's what. And obviously, as you see this, you know, it's like, okay, well, how do we want to play this? He's actually making his all. I wonder if he'll cancel it. The Zealot, I don't see as being very useful here. Now, there is, like, you could do something like uh, a run by, okay? That's the only thing for me right now that's coming to mind as a possibility to keep the Zealot. In fact, he's making a second Zealot. So what this could be, yeah, it could be a double Zealot run by, but it also could be something like he saves them uh, for a quick Reaver. Nope, second, uh, second gateway coming up. And with this Zealot going up to 12 o'clock, Right now, I'm thinking this could be a bunker bust. It's a, it's a possibility. Like, that's kind of a, a little bit of an apish move. Uh, but occasionally, you'll see Protoss players that just make, like, six units. And they won't really show them. They'll do, like, a light contain, right? They'll show you maybe a Zaw and two Dragoons, something like that. But they'll make, like, six, not attack the, the bunker, and then suddenly run in and attack, right? And when you suddenly run in... The SCV sometimes can't get there in time, especially if you do a run-in that actually surrounds the bunker partially. We'll see if it's a move like that. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, he's gone up to two gates and gone into Robo. Still no range upgrade. Two Zalots kind of guarding this way out. The probe checking out the bridge. That is definitely an interesting map. And as the three Marines pop out, the two Zalots run forward. Oh, that's interesting, right? And so they had to retreat, so not as many hits as you would normally see. But that's a great block right there. So he's going to get one of the Zalts almost for free. The other Zalot will end up getting in. And it scouts out that there are, in fact, two factories. Uh, this is a pretty normal follow-up, especially for someone like me, who he's not a quick armory player. Uh, so no big surprise there. The Zalot going to go down and fight as well as he can. The three Marines with some micro. 
uh, will be able to take this out, but he runs by with a Dragoon, so that's really annoying. Uh, there is going to be a tank coming out relatively soon, and so, like, it's not the end of the world or anything, and in fact, Dewalt, Dewalt just wants to save this Dragoon anyways. So, uh... <laughs> hold on a second here. Okay, so it's just Dragoons being rallied up. He only now started range. I'm a little bit confused. Okay, there's the shuttle. There's the shuttle. Because, like, this didn't look quite right. Okay, so he replaces the pylon. It was right there, and it looks like it was maybe screwing up the gas mining a little bit. Not entirely sure. This is an anti-drop position that you see right there. It kind of boxes uh, the vultures out a bit. And then, like, obviously there's still some holes, but you fill some of them if a drop does come. And there's the robotic support base. So it is going to be a reaver follow-up. The, the range is a little bit late, so he can't put too much pressure on. Uh, speed for the shuttle coming up and three tanks being made along with siege mode into speed. That's like real safety here from Mihu. Mihu's actually playing like a very turtly game for him. Uh, when you go for this type of opener, like you can go siege. It's okay. But a lot of people will not go siege. Like maybe they'll go three tank into the vulture and get mines here instead, right? Like a quicker speed and a quicker mines and then kind of push out. Uh, in this case, he is going Siege. And again, it's it's okay. It's just uh, Mihu generally plays like a little bit more aggressively than most Terrans. And this doesn't mean that he can't still, you know, maybe find some sort of timing attack. He's like uh, maybe the, the best at doing something like that. But this type of position where you go Siege and Turrets is the most defensive position you really get as Terran. Uh, I mean, he didn't go for the armory, so he still has a fair amount of units, but he definitely doesn't look like he's in any position to attack. Meanwhile, if you look at DeWalt's side, here's his third base coming up. Here comes his shuttle that almost has speed. He's already got his plus one going, so he's going to be ahead on the upgrades. He's going to be harassing lightly with the Reaver. I think there's enough turrets. He can't do too much with it right now. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> he actually takes a lot of damage on that shuttle. Turns around. There are some uh, vultures running around, but three goons here and a cannon on the way. Three goons in the choke with a good wall. Yeah, I don't think Mihu can really find too much. Now, all that being said, he is adding three factories. So Mihu looks like he's going for a five factory timing push, but there is this speed shuttle with a reaver, right? Another shuttle on the way. I think DeWalt's style in general uh, can fight pretty well against Mihu because he does very oftentimes get the speed shuttles, he gets the reavers, he oftentimes goes into Psystorm afterwards, right? He's very much a shuttle-based player. And if you can slow this push down, if you can pick off a few tanks, it gets really good for Protoss really, really quickly. Now, this is going into six factories, so Mihu is really going to be putting on the pressure DeWalt, in the meantime, adding an additional gateway. Is this a Citadel? It is indeed. Uh, and two more gates. So he's going up to seven gateways, maybe an eighth gate. Oh, yeah. I think he's read the position correctly. Eight gateways with tr uh, Zealot's legs on the way, plus double speed shuttle with a Reaver. Uh, I, I mean, obviously, a second Reaver would be really, really good here. But these are the types of things that are going to allow you to battle Terran very, very well. So, like, I look at these two builds, and I think to myself, okay, if if Mihu, like, very carefully just... If he just goes and takes his third, it's he's in a pretty good spot. But as is, he, he's definitely going to attack. Uh, I am a bit nervous for him. Now, double speed shell runs out, runs in immediately. Out goes some Zalts. He flies over a missile turret here. Almost loses that shuttle. Very annoying, but the turrets do their job. There's only one shuttle left over. Some good micro right there. Does get a pick off, or almost gets a pick off on a tank there. And he will send in the second Scarab, so that goes down. He knocks off this turret so that he can escape. And this did slow Mihu down a little bit. It's killed some of his units for sure. Dealt some damage, killed some turrets, right? A little bit of lost mining time, a little bit of damage. But he's still got a full two base economy to roll six factory production out on. So now Mihu going to start walking out once again, but DeWalt in the center catches a vulture for free. He's got to be careful with those four dragoons, though. And Mihu is undeterred. He is going to go ahead and do this push regardless. His supply is nice and high, uh, pushing through some of these dragoons. The Reaver kind of waiting here, seeing if it can get a nice scarab, a juicy one, maybe on the siege tanks or some leading vultures. More and more dragoons come out. Right, 
picks that up and backs up. And, I mean, he hasn't really gotten the Scarab, so you got to give that to Mihu. Like, he hasn't really taken a lot of damage from this Reaver. Sometimes the Reavers will get really great shots. Uh, as is, okay, he gets an okay one there. Really damages the Siege Tank. Going to back up with it now. A DT actually on the way. More, uh, another Reaver as well as a bunch of Zealots for bombing. Now, the Dragoons have actually run around the center, and this is going to stop some of the reinforcements. You see those Vultures that ran up, getting caught, getting pushed back. Here goes Mihu's push towards that third base location. Somehow he gets over here so, so quickly. The Reavers, are they going to be able to help anything? It looks like DeWalt probably going to end up losing this base, but he does have a big army here. So the siege tanks, like they're going to kill the base, but are they going to get out of here alive? It looks like DeWalt deciding maybe it's time for a counterattack, but I think actually the position here is very defendable. Like that's a very small bridge. He's got good turrets. He's got a couple tanks siege. A ton of vultures here as well. Oh my god. Mihu just makes magic happen. No doubt about that one. Uh, he throws up his starport, continuing to produce. And DeWalt's counterattack, I'm, I don't think it's really going to get in. As you see, there, this is all choked up enough that DeWalt has to turn around. But he lost that nexus. Now, he did make a new one in the bottom right and sent his probe. So it's not the end of the world for DeWalt. This game is not over right now. Mihu plows through that nexus and looks like he's going to go to the next location. I think he realizes that bottom right has a base. Goes ahead and hits some of those Reavers, but they do get picked up. A nice pickoff on one of the siege tanks here. Now, do we have legs? Yes, we do. A group of Zealots going to start to come out. His siege tanks can certainly deal with quite a few Dragoons if he is sieged in time right now. But as these Zealots come up... I look at this army. This does look like something that might be able to battle here. Ooh, not if you're not if you're consistently bleeding units, right? We just lost two dragoons. We just lost a couple zealots. In the meantime, a lot of uh, vultures running over towards that natural. In fact, comes up behind the rest of Dewalt's army. Now, Dewalt moving his army up towards those vultures. These siege tanks still just chilling here. This is this is like a funny looking game. Mihu still... Okay, he has his third command center building, but no third base yet. We're over 12 minutes in. And he's got a lot of tanks in the middle of the map. Like, this is scary stuff right now for him. If he loses this group of tanks, he can be in a lot of trouble. Now, he's laid quite a few mines here. Dewalt walking into some of them. Unfortunately, losing a few Dragoons and Zealots. Getting some pretty solid hits there is Mihu. Continues to be up in supply a bit. And he keeps getting these small reinforcements out. I think that that is a bit of a misplay from DeWalt, who, by the way, is banking a little bit more than me, who is. I mean, who's been very on top of spending those minerals, but honestly, his economy hasn't been quite as good as DeWalt's this game either. The Reavers waiting for anything to attack move into this direction. He actually sees the Reavers when scanning for the Observer, so actually kind of lucky for him that the Observer went over there. He knows to avoid this area for now. A lot of army movement occurring in the map. And now you see uh, DeWalt is trying to stop reinforcements. That's why these Dragoons got pushed up. But Mihu pushes them back with those siege tanks, loses a couple goons, and has to move over to the side some. Now Mihu rotating around the map. This has been such a wild adventure. The siege tanks started here, right? They went over this way, down this ramp, up this one into this area, sieged up this base, ran away down here, came to here, down here, up here, up here, and now they're back where they started rejoining the rest of his army. So somehow he's gotten everything together. He's at 180 supply against 160. Looks fantastic right now for him, but there are Psy Storms in this shuttle. Let's see how they go. That is a very good first storm, a good second storm as well. Really softening up a lot of those vultures, clearing the way on some of them, but the army's supply is a bit lower. DeWalt going to pull back. Mihu, with his repositioning madness, gets into this nice spot. He actually, it's funny because he's got like two Goliaths in here, but DeWalt has been very careful with his shuttles. Hasn't really pushed them too much. In fact, his defense in the main base, not all that big either, right? He's got like a, two turrets in there. Uh, so it feels like there are some, some places that DeWalt might be able to get damaged, but Mihu applies so much pressure, it's hard to get any of that off. Looks like the High Templars will get partially picked off here. One of the Reavers dies as well, but does get a Scarab off. DeWalt, mackering heavily behind. He actually has actually passed Mihu in supply at this point. Uh, 
Now, nice storm on that tank. A huge amount of tanks just sitting here. There's like, where are the Zalts? There they are. Y you see, <laughs> I, I'm kind of in shock. I don't know how Mihu is able to do things like this. Like, he's pushing with very few vultures, mostly siege tanks. We have got to get all these speed shuttles full of Zalts over there. If he's bombing on top of those, attacking with the rest... I can't imagine me whose army being able to stop that. It would definitely be disadvantaged. All right, he is pushing super quickly up here. Uh, taking a fourth base, he's already landed his third, but here comes the speed shuttles. They're going to go ahead, drop on top of these sea tanks. We see some storms going down. And it does look like the siege tanks are going to be eliminated. Now, this is a huge moment for Dewalt. You can see that supply really change around. Uh, Dewalt takes the advantage there. And now let's take a look at the siege tank count. We're down to five tanks for Mihu. Now this is this is like the biggest thing about Terran as a race when playing mech is retaining your siege tanks. He, notice how he's adding a third add-on. He realizes, uh-oh, I don't have enough tanks at this point. But five tanks is not really enough to deflect nor to attack with. So Dewalt right now should be feeling pretty good. It seems like he's recovered this game very, very well. Uh, in the meantime, he's taken another base here. He's retaking this location at uh, 3 o'clock that was killed off earlier. Mihu, of course, securing this base, uh, doing a very good job of continuing to expand himself. But look at this, a storm drop coming in. Oh, my God. Some huge storms go down. Looks like he's... Oh, man. That was like 20 SCVs, I think, that were taken out. I think the Archon is going to fall before we can check the final tally on it. Uh, but definitely worthwhile, I would say, that dive in there. Now, double speed shuttle coming up. He has only Zealots in these now. Ooh, I'm not sure that that was as good uh, as the previous one. There is an Arbiter out now for DeWalt as well. Only one Stargate producing those Arbiters, but uh, definitely as that builds up uh, in count, it's going to help a lot. Recall being researched right now. So we're going to see if DeWalt is able to get a powerful recall off in the main base. That would be an amazing move. If you look at this, this is very light turret spread, right? No mines in the main base. No real anti-arbiter defense here. Okay, so some of these tanks are going to get caught off guard. Uh, the arbiter helping to cloak these dragoons get a lot of free volleys off. He actually clears some tanks as well as a goliath. Going to go ahead and run out of here. Mihu, I'm not sure if he actually has EMP. Haven't seen it quite yet, but an EMP would be absolutely amazing on that Arbiter. He is getting a lot of energy. Has enough for a recall now as well. Obviously could do a stasis also. DeWalt's army seems very small right now. Right? Like his supply is very good, but 62 probes, right? So he's up seven workers, but his actual standing army supply does not seem that large. Looks like he's trying to attack in here once again to this fourth base location up at 12 o'clock. Uh, but Mihu, I think he just has enough units to come up and stop this, right? This is not a gigantic uh, Protoss army that we're dealing with here. It's mostly just Dragoons. Okay, a very solid stasis. So Dewalt will move forward and pick off some of these tanks. The back tank's still getting some good damage there, and the Dragoons are going to have to pull back a bit. Huh. Two one upgrades with no three two on the way, by the way. Like, this has been kind of a wild game with a lot of aggression, so not too surprised to see that. Nice size from there. Should be able to knock out these siege tanks. Now, is he going to get enough units over to hold on once the thaw occurs on these four stasis tanks? Not so sure about that. As soon as these pop out, everything is going to blow up. Uh, but some zealots coming in, so maybe they can help to get on top of everything else. And here we go. The Zalots are, uh, are on top of these tanks as the stasis wears off. Another Arbiter coming in. No energy for a spell there. He does have mana for a Psy Storm in just a second here. And a couple Psy Storms do go off. Okay, reasonable Psy Storms overall. And you can see Mihu's economy has really taken a hit here. 39 SCVs. Let's check Mineral Patches. Very low. Very high. Very low. So, yeah, his economy took a hit, but it's still playable. Uh, he only needs about 40 SCVs to mine from this base plus this base, right? Like, that's going to give him really, really good saturation. This is not a lot of patches, right? A total of 12. So, uh, not the greatest economy for Mihu anymore. 
over on DeWalt's side, it's pretty standard. It's just consistent production out of all of his buildings, right? Like one Stargate Arbiter, one Robo Observer plus a uh, shuttle, and then just Zealots, High Templars, and uh, Dragoons out of those gateways. Trying to get a reasonably sized army out onto the battlefield now, right? Like he wants to clear this out. A lot of Vultures going in, trying to get some raids done, but there's plenty of Photon Cannons here, so can't quite do that. Looks like he will check this uh, third base from the bottom right main, and he's gonna find that. Might be able to force a cancel there. Not sure if DeWalt is going to come down to deal with that or not. Looks like a couple Zealots kind of being sent through the minefield so his goons can catch up. Would be good if he can keep this base going. Right, like DeWalt's economy is looking okay, right? Like he's got this base, this base. This has actually a little bit too many probes and a little bit too few probes. So definitely wants to balance that out a little bit. Uh, and then he's got this base mining as well, right? Obviously mined out in these two locations. So it is important for him to get another mining location. Like four bases mining against the two of Terran. You're going to be feeling pretty good about that. It is still, like, playable for Terran, but, like, we're not even maxed out on the upgrades, right? This is not 3-2. If it was 3-2, it would certainly be a situation where i give uh, Mihu a bit more of an edge. But even, like, we actually have, like, basically even upgrades. Plus 3 attack for Protoss and 2-1 for Terran. So definitely something that Mihu is missing out on. Walt continuing to try to hold on to the center of the map. He's cleared out a lot of those mines. BU does have a few more. Not sure what the next plan is. He is popping out more science vessels, so maybe we can just get some good EMPs off uh, onto those Arbiters, onto those High Templars as well. By the way, he is getting, what is it called? Argus Jewel, I believe, for the uh, Arbiter Energy. That'll allow him to cast both a Stasis and a Recall off of a full Energy Arbiter, which is pretty awesome. Now, try to hit it with that EMP. Did end up missing. And here we go. Oh, God. I think we're going to see a recall. Tries to hit with the EMP. Way too slow there. And that recall is going to help him to eliminate these sea chanks super fast. The rest of his army coming up from the other side as expected. He's going to have to run through a few mines. A lot of vultures came up here to end up helping out. The nice wide ramps do make this a bit more defendable, but also a bit more attackable as DeWalt sends more and more uh, dragoons up. Now, this is a lot of vultures, and they may be able to technically clear this, but he needs to bring tanks up as well, or you're going to be so cost inefficient. You can see DeWalt starting to get ahead in that supply a bit more, more than he was for the rest of the game, at least. Uh, another shuttle comes in, bombing out the Zealots, but that does get cleared up. A lot of Dragoons walking across the center. He has some good Observer splits here, so he is able to just kind of attack, move, and clear the area. Mihu has to be very careful about moving down here. Obviously, he wants to take this base. There's nothing else really nearby, and he certainly is thinking about getting another mining location. Now, DeWalt has pulled away from 12, so Mihu can start mining that once again. Moving back into the center of the map, he has a lot of energy on these Science Vessels, so it certainly has potential. If he can stop all spells from DeWalt... I think he kills everything. Like, his army is good enough in position to kill everything DeWalt has if there's no spells. All right, so that's what we're looking at. Do these EMPs end up hitting? It is a little bit difficult to do. They have taken some damage to Science Vessels, so certainly can be picked off quickly. In the meantime, another recall. Oh, that's a huge one. Gonna go ahead, get this command center, and that means this is the only mining location. He's got six mineral patches, which is simply not enough for Terran. Mihu moving in towards 3 o'clock here. All right, he is going to be able to blow up this Nexus, I think. The rest of his army walking to the south. Ooh, that's a big Psystorm. Storm. Gets rid of one of the Science Vessels as well. Another Psystorm Storm goes down. The Siege Chain count getting lower and lower. Another Psystorm, Storm. And you can see DeWalt just pulverizing. And by the way, not even going to get this 3 o'clock base. Dropping on top of these Siege Tanks with those Speed Shuttles. Dragoons finishing it off. And he is going to be able to clear the remainder of this army, it looks like. This is not going to leave uh, Mihu any way to come back. You can see his supply has been devastated. 73 against 140. And with these small amount of mineral patches, that's it. GG. DeWalt takes game one.